Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has concluded his three-day official visit to Egypt, and as per latest media reports, apart from Egypt's interest to purchase 70 Tejas light combat aircraft and light combat helicopter, Egypt has also shown interest in procuring the Akash Prime missile system, that is capable of intercepting hostile aircraft helicopters drones and subsonic cruise missiles at a range of 30 km. At the upcoming Defence Expo 2022, Larsen and Tubro will showcase its 8x8 wheeled armoured fighting vehicle. It will be equipped with armaments such as ATGM, a 30mm gun with a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, and smoke grenade launchers. It is an amphibious vehicle, that can be deployed in various terrains like desert mountainous and urban terrain. l and has said, that its wheeled 8x8 armoured vehicle is a multi-purpose platform, that can also be used to develop other variants like armoured protection carrier, armoured command post carrier. The RDO's vehicles research development establishment has started development of a new blast resistance composite cabin, that will be used for 155mm ATAGS mounted gun system. The ATAGS based mounted gun system will weigh 35 tons including truck, and can be employed in buried trains from deserts plains to high altitude areas. The Indian Army has a requirement of 814 mounted gun system, and the Army has asked for a minimum of 50% indigenous content. The Indian Navy has released a request for information to lease a vessel for four years, that will function as deep submergence rescue vessel mothership, and submarine support ship. The ship must have a deck area of 570 square meters, and an endurance of 30 days or greater. The delivery must take place within six months from the date of signing the contract, and all maintenance costs and insurance will be paid by the bidder. Larsen and Tubro will be showcasing a futuristic high-performance vertical takeoff and landing remotely piloted aircraft system at the upcoming Defence Expo 2022, that is powered by a new highly efficient engine with an outstanding weight-to-power ratio, that will enable it to operate at extreme altitudes up to 5,500 meters. L&T will also display a fixed-wing tactical UAV with short-range takeoff and landing, that has a maximum payload capacity of 140 kg, maximum endurance of 11 hours, maximum speed of 60 meters per second, and has a service ceiling of 25,000 feet. Israel's Elbit Systems has announced today, that it has been awarded a $76 million contract, for the supply of electronic warfare training capability to the Air Force of a country in Asia-Pacific. Under the contract, Elbit Systems will supply a cutting-edge solution, that will enable air crews to conduct multi-threat TW airborne training in a real-life scenario. The contract will be performed over a period of two years, and the system will improve readiness and reduce costs. After a significant amount of Chinese content was found in bulletproof jackets supplied in bulk to the Indian Army, the Defence Ministry has now mandated, that Indian manufacturers need to certify that they are not dealing with Chinese entities. A new tender issued by the Coast Guard for 746 bulletproof jackets, has a specific clause that mandates that the competing Indian vendors have to submit a certificate specifying that raw materials will not be imported from China. The Indian Navy chief has said, that the Navy will be completely self-reliant by 2047, that includes production of ships submarines fighter jets unmanned systems as well as spare parts weapons ammunition and the entire complex. He also said, that the Navy has adequate stock of spares, and there has been no effect on deployment of ships or fighter jets, and the Navy has also taken steps to get help from the local industry for spares. Oh, my God.